So when we were planning the show, I, this, you know, things just sometimes just jump into my head, this crazy little head of mine. And um, this, this was it. Money-saving recipe? Well, for me, it's got to be a big old casserole that serves a crowd. Got to have some pasta in it. That's a great way to stretch your dollar. Speaking of pasta, I'm going to drop the pasta into the water right now. So this is my baked ZD recipe. Pasta is, you know, a buck, a bag, or a box, however it comes. Whenever it's on sale, I stock up. And it's a great way to stretch your dollar, and it's really kid-friendly. My friend, uh, my, my kids love it. So I'm going to get that pasta going. Always important when you're boiling some pasta to do a little bit of salt in there. It's really the only way to season that pasta as it cooks. So bake ziti. Um, this is a casserole that we're going to be making. Uh, it's going to feed six to eight, may even have some leftovers. And this is going to be under, I would say, 10 bucks to make. Seriously, our, our noodles, ground beef, a jar of spaghetti sauce, mozzarella cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, which you probably have a little shaker of that in your fridge anyway, some crushed croutons, and some onion. Yeah, it's easy breezy, super easy. All right, so we've got a, a great way to stretch your dollar is, you know, um, just using a little bit of... Meat seems to be the most expensive part of my grocery store budget when I go to the grocery store. So this recipe, you only need about a pound of ground beef. Ground turkey or ground chicken would also work. I know Anne is a huge fan of ground turkey and ground chicken. She's really doing well for the new year, sticking to her resolution. So this is one of those recipes that if you're trying to make a switch, it would be easy. You're really not going to tell the difference. There's so much great flavor going on in this recipe. It's also a very quick fix recipe. Just washing my hands because my hands touch the ground beef there. So Sunday is my big casserole making day. So I could whip one of these together in literally, it's going to take about 15 minutes to throw this together and then make an extra one for the freezer, which is a great money saving idea. Why not, if you're making one casserole, make two, double the batch, get into the freezer, and then on one of those crazy busy days that you know is going to be just, uh, buckle up one of those kind of days, we all have them, sometimes a couple of times a week, you can just pull that casserole out of the freezer in the morning, let it thaw, and then bake it in the oven when you come home from work. Dinner is done, you've saved yourself a boatload of money by not hitting a drive through restaurant or uh, you know, even a sit-down restaurant more expensive than that. Okay. So I'm just going to use the old chop and stir. To get this going. So this week I had a little fun. It's so cold that earlier in the week I uh, did a thing on Facebook. And if you're not following on Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram or Twitter, do please follow me. Um, I post on all of them all the time. But I, I was just feeling kind of like, ugh, this weather and this winter. So I posted a little thing on Facebook that said, if you could hop on a plane right now to anywhere, just, you know, dream a little bit, where would you go? And it went wild. It was so fun to get everybody's responses. I think everybody else out there in the Green Bay area was kind of feeling the same way as me. So everyone put their dream destination and why they wanted to go there. Really, really fun. So. And if you could hop on a plane anywhere right now, where would you go? She said Milwaukee. I don't think you need to hop on a plane. You just hop on the interstate. It's not any, maybe a couple degrees warmer there. Really? That's where you go? Well, come on. Give me a better answer. Where? Taos, New Mexico. Anne used to work in New Mexico in Taos area, and that is a beautiful spot. Abby, my producer, said New Zealand. That's funny because that's what my daughter Ireland said. That wouldn't be the first place I'd think of, you know, but it is a beautiful place, and they do have some warm weather. Greg, where would you go? Oh, Greg, our director, whose birthday was yesterday, birthday boy. He says that he'd go to Florida. Where in Florida? Satellite Beach, Florida. He said he could hop on a plane and he'd have a place to stay. His sister lives there. So I've got this little birdie that talks in my ear. I have to say, I, I love, love, love Jamaica. And I don't know if I'm going to get there this winter. I'm sure hoping I will. I keep hinting to Bob that'd be a nice place to go for spring break. So far, I don't see any airline bookings made, but we'll see. But 
That's one of my places that I just dream about when it's wintry out there. We normally rent a house there. And because uh, you know me, I love to cook and all that great fresh ingredients of fresh seafood and fresh fruit in the morning. And anyway, that's what I've been dreaming of. Okay, so one pound of ground beef. I'm going to add to that some onion. And then I'm going to season this up. My seasoning of choice, garlic salt. That way I don't have to worry about chopping up some fresh garlic. As I said, this is a really quick fix. So just some garlic salt will do it. You could certainly throw in a little bit of salt, pepper, and fresh garlic. That would be fine too. While I'm doing this, I'm waiting for this onion to cook down a little bit. Let's talk about our big night out. Talk about saving you some money. Uh, once a month or every month or two, we hit the road and invite you to join us for a lovely, lovely evening that is a huge deal. We go to a local restaurant that really wants to showcase what they do, so they put together a fantastic menu at a really great price. And I think, you know, especially this winter, we could all use a, a big night out once in a while. So here's what's happening. Next Thursday, the day before Valentine's, so it's going to be a, a romantic Valentine's evening, that they are planning. It's going to be beautifully decorated and it's a five course meal. Each of the courses paired with wines. It's going to be spectacular at a great price. I don't know where you could get a, a, a dinner like this with five courses and each course paired with wines. So let me take you through the menu. menu. It's only $60 per person and that includes tax and tip and everything. So we're going to start with an apple pecan gorgonzola tartlet. So a little hors d'oeuvre there, that's paired with a uh, Pinot Grigio wine. Then we're moving on to our salad course, which is a Napa cabbage and fennel salad with red peppers, radish, feta cheese, chives, and a lemon, homemade lemon vinaigrette. And the wine pairing for that is a Chardonnay. Then we have two different main courses. The first main course, and you get both of them, you don't have to choose, you get both, is a pan-seared mahi-mahi, which is a wonderful uh, white, firm white fish, not a fishy fish at all, almost steak-like, and it's going to have a toasted sesame risotto served with it, ginger carrots, and the wine pairing with that is a very a mild red wine, a Pinot Noir. And then, we're doing surf and turf here, we're moving on to uh, sliced beef tenderloin with rosemary mashed baby red potatoes, a balsamic glaze, and the wine pairing for that is a Cabernet Sauvignon, a nice rich, heavy red wine. And for dessert, for Valentine's Day, perfect cheesecake stuffed strawberries with a bubbly a Forest Glen Moscato wine. We're headed to Christopher's at the Branch River Golf Course in the Manitowoc area. Gorgeous setting, but call today to reserve your spot. This one is filling up quickly. And you don't have to come with your special someone. You can come with the girls from the office. You can come alone. You can we get a lot of mother, daughter, or sisters that come together, and it's always great fun. So. Hope to see you there. It's next Thursday night, so less than a week away, so it's filling up quickly. Okay, beef is ground up and crumbly, no longer pink. We added some onion, seasoned it with garlic salt. We're going to add some dry white wine, and it, again, it doesn't have to be the expensive stuff, but white wine is going to make our can, can or jars of your favorite what's on sale spaghetti sauce not taste like it came out of a jar, and then some water. And my tip also for saving some money is there's always some spaghetti sauce stuck in that jar, so I throw some water in there, give it a shake, and get out every little last bit of that spaghetti sauce. Not only is my, instead of, you know, just putting water in a measuring cup and doing it this way, not only am I getting every little last bit of the sauce out of the jar, but our jar is nice and clean now and ready for the recycling bin. So double duty there. Love that. So this is it. I told you this was easy. Later in the show, um, we have some more fun recipes. We're doing upside down pot pie, chicken pot pie, and pork cutlet. Both recipes very, very inexpensive to make. So. Pretty excited about both of those. Okay. Our pasta, I don't want to overcook our pasta because it's going in a casserole and it's going to bake again. So I actually like to undercook our pasta. In this case, we're using ziti, which is going to really work well with that sauce. And it 
holds up nice in a casserole. It doesn't get too mushy. Nobody wants a mushy noodle in a casserole. That's no fun. Okay. Drain that real well. Get it in with our sauce. And now we're going to just start putting this casserole together. Told you this was a quick fix. 15 minutes or less, this can be done and in your casserole dish. And then you can throw it in the oven and do homework with the kiddos, check your emails, whatever you need to do. Spray your casserole dish with cooking spray, real important. Don't want to be spending, time is money. You don't want to be scrubbing that casserole dish for two days. As I said, this makes a big batch, and this is even a company-worthy recipe. You know, I think more and more of us are entertaining at home. It's casual. It's really nice to invite people into your home. And this is a great make-ahead. Just toss together a big, beautiful salad, some garlic bread and dessert, and you've got a, you know, a recipe that you didn't have to spend hours in the kitchen with while your guests were there. It can all be made even up to a couple days ahead and then just baked off nice and warm when people get there. If you do make this casserole ahead, I like to cheese it right before baking. So get it to this point and then wrap it in and get it in your freezer or your refrigerator and then cheese it up right before you bake. So we're doing a couple different types of cheese here. We're doing some shredded mozzarella. No skimping on that cheese either. Lots of it. It's going to be cheesy and wonderful. and super duper kid friendly this dish is. And then we've got some Parmesan cheese. It's gonna give it a nice little brown top. And then this is optional, but it's really fun. I've just got some crushed croutons that I like to throw on the top um, and they get nice and crispy too. When you, It's got a little crunch. I, I'm all about the crunchies on the top of the casserole. So depending on if you pull this ice cold out of the fridge, it's always going to take a little bit longer to bake. But if you're baking it right after you make it, it's about a 30 minute bake, 350 until it's nice and bubbly and wonderful. And um, it is a winner. I just want to show you what it looks like inside. It's one of those, you know, cheese for miles kind of dishes. And oh, got that sauce and all that good stuff. Perfect with garlic bread and a big salad.